Whoa, shakiness. Hello again, YouTube. Uh, sorry for the vertical video, but um, I'm carrying a drink cup with me, and it's really difficult to hold the phone horizontal with one hand. Uh, so it's uh, still Sunday night, September 26th. It's like 11.40 p.m., and I'm, uh, as I said earlier, I'm going to try to walk to Circle K and get my sip and save drink for the uh, for the day before midnight happens so it's not that much of a walk from my place over to the Circle K on 48th and um, 48th and Thomas where my car died uh, so yeah not too much to see this thing doesn't shoot very good video at, at night it seems like when I'm walking um, so as I noted earlier, um, Oak Street is super wide, almost all the way to 48th. It doesn't actually make it to 48th, it makes it to 47th place, which is kind of where 48th Street should be. Uh, this area is kind of odd. Um, there's a green belt here now, but there used to be a canal. It used to be the Crosscut Canal, and then it was called the Old Crosscut Canal when they built a new Crosscut Canal. Uh, Salt River Project did. Still see quite a bit of the road ground away here, so it looks like they're going to resurface it all the way to this point. In fact, I can see the edge real clearly where they're going to stop resurfacing it. Right here, there's a, oops, a foot, it's about a half inch drop, maybe more than a half inch, about three quarter inch drop. Uh, right there goes to the curb, so yeah, that's where the resurfacing is going to end. Which is pretty cool. They they recently resurfaced uh, 47th place. Um, I remember we surfed. They did it all the way from Oak up to uh, up to um, up to uh, Thomas about a year year and a half ago. They put some kind of new infrastructure in the road. I forget exactly what it was. There's some kind of new pipe. Ooh, there's some kind of. Lights going on up ahead. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. And I don't have to really see what's going on. Just blurry blinking lights. Um, I have no idea what's going on, but it went away. Anyway, yeah, they uh, put in some kind of new pipe in the road. And, and then while they're at it, they actually resurfaced the entire road, which is pretty good. It's kind of nice when they resurface an entire road when they put in a new pipe as opposed to just kind of patching the hole where the pipe went in and leaving a uneven road which gets happened all too it's happened happens all too often uh so now i'm walking on the green belt um i do believe there's still a canal underneath here not not like a major canal because a lot of the water that used to from what i understand a lot of the water that used to run through here uh now runs through the cross canal and which replaced the canal which would be underneath where I'm walking right now which which was the old crosscut canal um, but when the water got diverted to the crosscut canal instead of here uh, it still still um, functioned as drainage and storm drain and drainage and I think it still does I'm pretty sure there's big culverts like underneath this greenbelt park that uh, handle drainage for this area in fact, if you look here, there's uh, you kind of see the, the curb on 48th Street it dips down, and there's poles to stop people driving in, but it's just smooth. Smooth, and then right here, oh, you really can't see it because it's too darn dark. There's a drain, drain on the between that, like decorative uh, cement that comes down from 48th Street and the edge of the bike route. In fact, I don't know why I wasn't thinking of these. All through the park, there's a lot of these areas where there'll be an arrangement of six, kind of one, two, three, four, five, six, six big drains in the park, big, big drains. And, and that's because when it, uh, when it rains, the, the park will flood and then it all drains into there. So yeah, into the remnants of the old canal underneath. Um, you know, this was built long before I moved to this neighborhood, but I do remember 
Um, when I first became a cab driver, which would have been 92, coming into this area, and there wasn't a park here. It was just a big, kind of ugly ditch that was mostly empty. So that was the remnants of the canal. So this is an old city parks project, uh, you know, covering the canal and turning it into a, turning it into a uh, green belt and some public park space. This bike route is really nice. Uh, one of these years, uh, one of the channels I like to watch on, on YouTube called Action Kid and and it's a guy who just um, mostly around New York City although he recently I, I missed him he was in LA about two months ago he was in LA the same time I was in LA um, and basically just shoots videos um, where he's either riding an electric scooter or riding a bicycle and it says in his descriptions exactly what he uses. And yeah, he's got definitely better than <laughs> an iPhone in a hand. But um, he's got a description of exactly what he uses for a camera. And then also how he's got it, got it attached to him. Like what kind of harnesses and stuff he has. But uh, makes really good quality ride-along videos. Uh, most recent one that I watched. Well, not the most recent one I watched on his channel. But certainly the most memorable recent one I watched on his channel. Um, is where he goes over the Brooklyn Bridge in New York City. And I, I'm beginning to think I'll never make it to New York City in my lifetime. Like it was some place I always thought would be neat to go as a kid. And, and I've just gotten older and older and older and there's just never been the time or the money. And, you know, now I'm over 50 and I don't know. Someday, someday I'll make it to New York City. But I don't know, the more I... Like, I see things about New York City that fascinate me, and I see a lot of stuff about New York City that just makes it look really just filthy and nasty and overcrowded. And uh, definitely someplace I don't think I would enjoy living. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, he did a, did a ride-along video where he went on his bicycle over the brand-new bike route that goes over the Brooklyn... Er, Uh, oh shoot! I'm probably saying the wrong bridge. I'm, I'm saying I'm thinking Brooklyn Bridge, but maybe I, maybe that's not the name of it. Again, I've never been to New York City, so I'm not like if I saw a new, if I see a map of New York City, I know I'm looking at a map of New York City, but you know I've never been there, don't know my way around. But I want to see, I want to see the Brooklyn Bridge. He goes over. Uh, anyway, it's a major bridge. He goes over a brand new bike route that just opened about a week, week and a half ago. And it's, uh, a, they've eliminated one of the car traffic lanes and put a barrier up with a fence so cars can't enter where the bikes are. And, and then turned one of the former traffic lanes into two bicycle lanes and ex exclusively bicycles. I mean, I would imagine that's where, you know, you would ride an electric scooter as well. I mean, that was, that's where I'd ride an electric scooter unless somebody told me. You know, unless the police officer told me not to do that again. But uh, uh, it does clearly say it's not for, you know, for pedestrians. Now, what, what they had over that bridge before was a big pedestrian over, um, overpass, which it's a multi-level bridge, so it's on the top level. They've got a pedestrian overpass, and it's got a lot of pedestrian traffic on it. And you can tell just looking looking at it of, of the videos that he's posted that because he also had a, had a couple of ride-along videos going over the top of it and you could tell that a good portion of the pedestrian traffic that's up on that bridge is tourist traffic people that are going to new york to see the sights of new york and of course they're stopping and they're taking pictures which is understandable i mean it's a you know it's a major major landmark i mean it's certainly something i would want to see if i take a trip out there as a tourist and but uh, yeah, so these guys are uh, constantly stopping and taking pictures. And the way it was laid out before, on one side there was there was paint, no no physical barrier, but paint designating two lanes exclusively for bicycles. And of course, people are just walking on it, and people are stopping and standing and taking pictures on it, which would be pretty chaotic, you know, if you're uh, if you're if you actually live in New York City and that's part of your commute and you're commuting by bicycle. 
which in that area can you know makes complete sense um you can get around a lot quicker by bicycle than you can in a car and it's very difficult you know from what i understand it's very difficult to park in new york city parking is expensive not always available so i mean depending on where you live um and in where you work you know if you live on one side of that bridge and you work on the other side it, it makes sense to uh cross over 48th street right now it makes sense to um to ride a bike but yeah, I could see how that could be incredibly frustrating as you're trying to go across and you're on your way to work and kind of on a, a tight schedule, trying not to be to work late. And there's tourists just standing in the middle of the bike lane taking pictures. And of course, you'd, you'd never find tourists like that blocking a car traffic lane. But it's real easy for pedestrians to just not give a damn about bicycle traffic. Um, but yeah, Action Kid's got some great videos of that sort of stuff. Um, he's got some where he's going in uh, busy bike lanes that pedestrians have a habit of overrunning uh, where he's got a really loud like it sounds like a car horn car horn wired in on his uh, on his bike something more than just a you know a, a dinging bell which is would be normal for a bike and and it gets some people startled and they jump out of the way and then other people just Ignore it. I, say, I don't know, it seems like New Yorkers just don't give a shit. But anyway, I wasn't planning on this trip being a big promotion for uh, Action Kids' YouTube channel, but I figured I'd share it in case uh, any of my viewers have never seen it. It's something that I'm interested in. Oh, and the reason I mentioned Action Kid, um, so yeah, one of these days I'd like to look and see, you know, look at his channel descriptions and or one of his video descriptions and see exactly what he's got and make some kind of rig where I can ride uh, my scooter or maybe even my bicycle. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping I will have my car back soon, but that doesn't mean I'm going to not use other forms of transportation when practical. But um, I'd like to ride the green belt on 48th Street and make a nice video of it in the daytime for y'all. I don't think anybody's ever really done that. Uh, anyway, I'm at... Uh, I'm gonna circle here, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming with me.